back, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, once again with the man, the legend as they call him, Hal Bell. How you doing today, Hal? Thank you, South Carolina. I'm doing fantastic. All right, Hal, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, the legend went to the game today? Yes, I did. Uh, what did you think about the Nets? Do you know what? That was like watching a game behind the fence of all the dice fields. Okay. And, you know, I thought they said it. I thought Frank Cooley made the statement. This is top of the line netting. It's all transparent. You won't even know it's there. And he even said it with a smile, didn't he? Exactly. But he's not the one sitting there. So, it's not. It's, it's sort of take, takes away the enjoyment. I like to take some pictures as near him as possible now. I like to have, look before the ball game starts, some interaction with the private players. Uh, you, you know what? Maybe Can't you talk to him? Can't you, you talk to him for the net? Over and talk, you know, you know, just for a couple of minutes. You know, that sort of made made my uh, evening. But can't you talk to him through the net? Well, it's sort of like a barrier now. It's like you got the fans and then you got them. It's sort of, you know, it's sort of coming in between the players and fans. So you don't like it? No, no. no is there any I way don't. they're gonna? Any, is there any way they may change their mind? Well, no. I mean. Once they do something, it sticks. Okay. And in a few years, probably it's going to be mandated by Major League Baseball. I mean, my opinion, my thought process is, if it was mandatory for Major League Baseball, that's fine. Okay. But it's not. Well, the Pirates want to prove that they could get out in front of something, because God only knows they didn't get out in front of the moving so ball club. Okay. So they want something to take the fans' minds off of the ball club. As usual, we appreciate the man, the legend, Al Bell.